that makeup may be cause all of your friends say it's cool. I'm a firm believer you should follow your gut on 99% of things, but I listened to my gut yesterday and it cost me a hundred bucks. So yesterday I went to the nicest Barnes and Noble I've ever seen in my life, but I took too, too many magic gummies. And if you guys know anything about me, it's that I don't read. The supposed magic gummies that are in question here are eerily similar to this Welch. I don't get how people like these. They have a chalky coating on them. Like I said, I don't read, but just for whatever reason, this book was calling to me. The Penguin Book of Christmas Stories. I'm standing there staring at this thing thinking it's going to be a cute little Christmas story from penguins perspectives or something. And yeah, you are right. I could have read the back to understand what's going on. But like I said, I don't read. This book is not about penguins at all. And that the supposed penguins in question are actually a company. So now I'm going to have to read a Christmas book about no penguins, which is what I wanted at the time. I did get this too though. This notebook is sick. I never knew Barnes and Noble had this kind of cool shit. Like, look at that. Along with not reading, I don't really physically write anything down either, but I don't think 90% of the world does either anymore. But dude, I had to score these two notebooks too. Look how sick that is. The Grand Canyon, this dude's riding a horse. I don't even know what I'm doing out here filming this video. There's like a tornado coming in from over there. There's a fucking UFO over there. We're gonna have to film this back in the studio. Guys, you can't make fun of me for this. This is the start of the Mike Laws book collection, okay? Now, the only reason I've ever even heard of Treasure Island is because of the Muppets. And I know absolutely nothing about this, nor did I read the back at the time, but I actually just gave it a quick glance. Apparently, it's about a dude named Jim Hawkins. He finds a pirate map. This cover is just insanely impressive to me, at, yet again, as a non-reader. And the pages, are you kidding me, bro? Look at that. Solid gold pages, 24 karat. I'll probably just end up watching the Muppet movie and call it a day. Unless it's actually a good book. Let me know in the comments if you read fucking Treasure Island. This one was a no-brainer. This looks like something you'd easily pick up out of a high-end New York museum. But guess what? I bought this thing for like 20 bucks from Barnes & Noble instead of 50 at a New York museum. This video sounds like the biggest Barnes & Noble sponsorship ever. I swear to God, it's an I just wanted to show the cool shit. And I mean, dude, last but not least, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of Wimpy Kid is one of the best books ever made. We're not talking about the whole franchise. I understand people are iffy about the whole franchise and that it's still going on in the movies. One and two for the movies were great. Three was eh. And then that we don't talk about the other one or even two. We're talking about the OG that kicked it off this book. This book deserves every award. I don't think I've read the actual book since middle school. I've rewatched the movies a couple of times and they're still absolutely hysterical. I love Roger. Actually, no, no, what? Full diaper! <laughs> They're lucky Roderick Rules wasn't on the middle aisle. I That's the only reason I saw this. If I saw Roderick Rules next to that, I would have got that one. I probably would have got both. But Roderick Rules, now that I'm thinking about it, I like a lot better. But this one is still just the classic. The classic red. There's like something methodical about it. Seriously. The packaging. Or the artwork, rather, I guess. This one will hands down actually be red as opposed to it's going to be a toss-up between the Christmas stories and Treasure Island. This is an intensive read for people my age. If I had to pick one thing and I had to get rid of everything else this is about to be some survivorship but i think i'm gonna pick the astronomy notebook even though that says astronomy chart we are not talking about that this is a notebook it's just insane take my word for it e best easily the best buy out of the hall the only thing that worries me about this cup is that it's made from enamel. You know how we're not supposed to drink out of certain things like plastic balls and stuff because it kills us? But then I was looking on Reddit to see what the lovely people of Reddit had to say about drinking out of enamel. And they did say there's a con to it. They did say it can chip at times and then you're drinking enamel. So there you go. Hi, right, do you guys have spicy chicken nuggets? No, I'm sorry. Alright, that's fine. I'll just do a cheeseburger. <laughs> Remember when we were all little goofballs in school and anytime someone would read this in the book, they'd be like, Miss Littleton, what's your 